the giant petrel is nicely positioned in the in the frame. It's not large, but it gives an impression of its environment, and we've got just the subtle hint of the land in the background. And we've also got some nice warm light on the bird. This image has exquisite composition, beautiful lighting, and there's even an interesting little fly in the image. This image shows a very rare bird uh, with an eel, so there's some great action there, and the soft light brings out the feather detail and the other details very nicely in the photo. Beautiful colours in the image and a nice, wonderful low perspective, and it really captures the sort of ancient nature of the mushroom on the left there. A very technically difficult image to achieve. The glowworms look beautiful and a wonderful wide angle perspective. Great use of depth of field has been made here. With a long lens, there is fr it's only the here on the sharp, which makes gives that nice ethereal quality to the reeds. Beautiful light in the background, topped off by the fish in the beak. This is a fantastic image that's really seen, let alone photographed to advantage as it is here with both birds sharp, um, the water splashing around, uh, just a terrific action shot. This image has wonderful composition. You have the bonus of these interesting little arachnids on the underside of the mushroom. You've got some bokeh in the background and the backlighting sort of almost makes the mushroom look like it's glow glowing. This image is superb. Uh, the owl is beautifully uh, outlined against the dark background. There's a wonderful play of light on both the owl and the woodwork. And here we've got an introduced species in a man-made environment, which is really intriguing and extremely well done. This image is technically masterful, beautiful composition. It's quite difficult to achieve wonderful high-key images, but this photographer has done that exceptionally well. You have an interesting interaction between the adult and the chick, and the lighting is just exquisite.